Well, welcome back, you all. Before Caddo Magnet High School was what it is now, it was actually Valencia Junior Senior Junior and Senior High, where Shreveport's black students were educated. Now, the class of 1970 was the last senior class from Valencia, and this year the school is hosting a joint alumni event to celebrate both schools and alumni groups. Now, this morning we are joined by R.J. Middleton, who's the principal at Caddo Magnet High School, and Ms. Janie Hamilton Phillips, who was actually part of Valencia High School's class of 1970. Guys, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you for having us. Thank you. This is such a great event, really combining the legacy that Valencia left behind in Caddo Magnet High and what it is today. Walk us through the celebration, RJ, and what it means to you guys. Um, it's a really uh, neat event for us and, and something that's been, been kind of working towards for two years now. Um, whenever I came into the principalship at Magnet High and really just started digging into school history, which is really important to me, uh, I came across the story that Magnet High was not always Magnet High that it was originally a Valencia High School and that it was closed in 1970. Um, and so I began researching and kind of learning about that story and very fortunate that, that we have Gerald Wills on campus who's, who's a Stoner Hill community member who works at Magnet High and was able to kind of help me start piecing the story together and making connections. And I really wanted to make sure that, that we were intentional about pulling in the Valencia alumni sure. and reconnecting them with the school that was taken from them. Um, a lot of times I think that we think in that time in our nation's history that we were closing failing schools um, right. in, in the desegregation process. Uh, Valencia High School was a thriving school yeah, that was not the case in, in a thriving community. Uh, the year that it was closed they lost um, in the state championship uh, game in football in January. Uh, they had academic programs on the campus that were nowhere else in the, camp, uh, in the, in the parish at that time. Uh, it was in a really neat community that very much uh, was a family atmosphere that they mm -hmm. completely had their arms wrapped around that school and really just wanted them to feel like they're still part of our school's history and, and that they're, they're still part of the story and it's still their school. Yes. And so we've been, the, the event on the 25th is a joint alumni event with Valencia and, and Magnet High and um, we're really excited about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Well, I want to touch a little bit on that story when RJ says that the school was essentially stolen from you guys. Explain to me what that actually means. Desegregation happened during 1970. 70, yes. And you guys were actually bussed away from Valencia High and taken to Bird. What did that feel like? Tell us about that day. It was a traumatic experience. It was awful. Simply because I was in that graduating class of 70 and the last few months of high school, we were bussed to Bird High School. And Bird High School at that time, the curriculum was somewhat different from ours, but yet we had to completely uh, ignore anything that we had prior to going to Bird and just fall into their curriculum. Wherever they were, their teachers, wow. wherever they were in their studies is where we were expected to just pick up and go on as though we'd been there all along. So it's pretty traumatic. Yes, Ms. Mm -hmm. Janie, what does it mean for you, for RJ and Caddo Magnet High to celebrate you guys, to celebrate Valencia and what the legacy that you guys have left behind? It is just awesome. We, we're so grateful to him for pushing forth and doing this for us because the spirit of Valencia is something that cannot die. It is still there and he's bringing us into back into where we were to give us some closure as to Valencia closed down, but the spirit of Valencia goes on. Yes. And so that is just truly amazing and we're grateful, very grateful to you for doing that. And the alumni group, along with planning these events on campus um, with me, are very much re-entering Magnet and supporting our current students and sponsoring field trips with some of our student organizations. So it's really coming full circle to where they're now financially getting involved with the school mm -hmm. yep. and making things happen for students that wouldn't happen otherwise. Absolutely. Well, you're seeing the information there on the screen. It is a free public event. Guys, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Ms. Janie, thank you so thank much you. for telling us your story this morning. We certainly appreciate it. Thank you. All right, guys, we'll be right back. <laughs>